Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm gonna show, how to install macOS Monterey on PC with pre-installed Windows 11. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, so, let's begin. For this purpose, you'll need macOS Monterey bootable USB for Hackintosh. A proper guide has been already made, from which you can create bootable USB for Hackintosh, using Windows or macOS. After creating the USB, open Disk Management. Now, right-click on C Partition, and click on Shrink Volume. Here, enter the amount of space you want to allocate for macOS, and after entering, click on Shrink. After shrinking of the disk is done, create new simple volume. For identifying the disk later, rename it, and continue. After the volume is created, close disk utility, plug bootable USB, restart your PC, and boot to BIOS. Here, load BIOS defaults, and change the following settings. After making the changes, exit BIOS saving changes, and now, boot to boot menu. From here, select your USB, followed by the UEFI prefix, and press enter to boot. Select install macOS Monterey and press enter to boot. From here, select your preferred language, and click on right arrow button. If you have created the USB using Windows, make sure that you're connected to the Internet, you can use Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or even USB router. After getting connected, select Disk Utility, and click on Continue. Here, click on View, and then click on Show All Devices. Now select the partition you created, and click on Erase button. Under Format select APFS, and click on Erase. After the partition is erased, click on Done, and close Disk Utility. And now, select Install, or reinstall macOS Monterey, and click on Continue. And here, if clicking on Continue doesn't work, quit Install macOS, and continue with it again, and proceed with the installer. Here, select the partition you created, and click on Continue. Keep in mind that the installation process may take a while, depending on your internet speed, and during the installation, your PC will restart several times, so don't worry about it. Also, at each reboot, boot your PC with USB, until the installation is done.
And finally, we're on Monterey setup screen, set up your macOS according to your preferences. macOS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in System Preferences. Now, copy Open Core Configurator to your desktop and mount the ESP of internal drive, and if you have created the USB using Mac, also mount the ESP of USB. After mounting ESP, quit Open Core Configurator. And now, copy both the folder from EFI, and paste it to the ESP of internal drive, under EFI folder. After pasting, browse to following location path, and change the name of the file. And now, close all, eject USB and DSP, and restart your PC, and again boot to Mac. After restart, mount the ESP of the internal drive, browse to the following path, and rename the file again. And now, everything is done, and let me show you working of both the OS. Keep in mind to never reset your NVRAM, otherwise, you'll not be able to boot to Mac. This issue can be eliminated by mapping, guide for mapping will be out soon. and successfully booted to Windows 11, let me show you the hardware specs. And now, let's get to Mac OS. and successfully booted to macOS Monterey, let me show you that everything is working, and hardware specs as well.
So, that was it, Dual Boot is working absolutely well. Hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.